Hey guys, Happy New Year. It's the 1st of January 2021 and uh, in this one we're going to be talking about flashlights. So stay tuned. Hey guys and uh, welcome back to another video. Because um, it's the 1st of January and you know we all have New Year's resolutions, I thought this year I'd think about quitting smoking and uh, doing a bit more exercise because lockdown has not been kind to me at all. Um, so I was at home and I was just looking at this strawberry cheesecake that I've got in the fridge and I thought, no, I can't. I need to go for a walk. It's six o'clock, but then we're in the middle of winter. So even though it's six o'clock, as you can see, it is pitch black out there. Um, so I thought, I know I've been buying these torches on Amazon recently and, um, it's £12.99 for a pack of two, and they've got the 18650 rechargeable batteries in. Now, when I've bought these sort of Chinese torches before with the rechargeable batteries, it's very hit and miss with battery life. Some of them are really good, they last for hours. Some are rubbish, and after 20 minutes use, they dim, and then half hour later, they've completely died. Now, where I am at the moment is Tamar Lakes, um, Upper Tamar Lakes to be specific, um, just outside the village I live. And um, it is approximately three and a half miles around this lake. It's a, you know, a southwest water reservoir. It's absolutely massive. It's got loads of little woodland trails that go around it, rivers, everything. It's not the place to be walking in the pitch black. So... What I thought I'd do is put these torches to the test. I've got one with me. It's fully charged. It was on charge all day. It is fully charged. Um, I want to see if it'll last. It's going to take me approximately an hour to walk around the lake um, at an average speed. Bearing in mind it's like 1.2 degrees outside and everything's freezing over. So I'm not going to be running, that's for sure. Um, not that I'd be running anyway, but you know what I mean. Um... Yeah, so it's about an hour's walk. I'm going to uh, keep track of my walk with the Pacer app. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, that's probably too bright. Um, it will tell me how far I've gone, how long it's taken me, etc. And we'll keep checking in on that and see how we're doing. And as I say, I've only got one torch. So if it goes bad, I will be talking to you in the dark. Um, I'm going to put a link for these down below if they are any good which so far they seem to be. I've been using them quite often. I even got Nick a pair for Christmas. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, we will see. So uh, I suppose we should stop delaying this. It's now 6.58 p.m. And um, let's go for a walk. Yeah, so just to prove how dark it is, you can probably just see some lights in the far distance there. Um, from some of the farmhouses and things. You won't be able to see the stars, I don't think, but it is absolutely pitch black. So yeah, let's turn the torch on and uh, do this. I might do a um, hyperlapse just for the first bit. So we've got a bit of a walk um, to do this. Uh, say so normally I see the floor's absolutely frozen solid um, yeah it's approximately an hour to walk down the whole lake as I say I've got my little app going which will track that and now uh, there's a map that's where we are and we have to walk all through the woodland here around the lake over the river past all this woodland back down um, so yeah, and there's lower Tamar as well. So um, yeah, I suppose we should just uh, get on with it. There's only one other, well, there's one person here fishing, one car in the car park. And as I say, these torches are absolutely brilliant. When they're fully charged, you get the green light like that. They're zoomable as well. So you can zoom them in and out. And now uh, they come with a little belt clip not that you can see that at the moment because it's uh, dark but I will put a picture of these up in the, in the video so you'll be able to see what they look like as well as a link down below so uh, yeah let's do this
just a sort of woodlandy bit. And there so far we have been, you can see where I am, the red dot there. And that's how far and fast it's taken, well, how long it's taken us, 20 minutes nearly. Uh, nearly a mile. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. Still green on the old torch. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm aware I just coughed right into the mic then. Um, on another note as well, I'm actually recording on a GoPro Hero 9 and uh, still sort of getting the grips of it really. Oh yeah, I forgot, the app talks to me. Um, yeah, so, I also want to point out as well, although I have only got one torch, I do have my phone, and uh, I know this lake very, very well. So, uh, should the torch die anyway, um, I don't have any issues walking around and knowing my way around, so... Um, although it's not advisable to walk around a, a deep reservoir and through the woods at any time of the night on your own with no light, I do know the path and know my way around so it's not the end of the world. But I thought this would be a really good test of these torches. And uh, also the first day of my uh, get fit month if you like well get fit forever I guess um, yeah I mean the, the healthy eating and the more exercise I'm happy with that um, however I've been a smoker for what 20 21 years uh, that might be a bit harder but um, yeah we'll see and uh, Let's get back to the uh, the walk and I will catch up with you guys in a minute. Super bright. To be fair, it's the only, it's not really helping me out as you can see how dark it is. Can't see a thing without the torch. So yeah. Um, as I say, this is all going on a GoPro, so I'm still getting the hang of it. So hopefully the footage is coming out okay. Um, I mean, I could have just done a, hello, this is Matt, this is what I'm testing, and then told you at the end how I got on. But it's not really a real test if it's not documented. So hopefully you're hanging on just to see the end and see how we get on. Um, and you never know, Bigfoot might jump out on us, so, uh, Time, 25 minutes. Distance, 1.09 miles. so there we go, just over a mile now, 25 minutes, so, on that average we're looking at about an hour and 10 minutes to walk around, the, uh, the thing is with torches, I say we're still green at the minute, after 25 minutes, is uh, it's not always the torch, it's the batteries. If the batteries are unreliable, that's your problem. Not so much the, uh, the torch or who makes the torch. Um, I am tempted to do a video and get hold of one of these super expensive, you know, super bright torches. But uh, I haven't got that far yet. I think this year is going to be very similar to last year so you never know I might get around to doing it this year excuse the breathing as well I might have to move the mic down um, just walked up that hill in the woods there and uh, yeah this is always a good test to see how just how unfit you are as well so uh, yeah a little bit out of breath let's get back to
hopefully it will hide my uh, my out of breathness, if that's a word. Just going down the hill now, which is fine. It's going up the hill, so I don't like. And uh, yeah, we're about to come to a another little leg of the lake that goes through the woods over a bridge. As I say, not a great deal of ambient, well there is no ambient light, as you can see. And uh, still green. I don't know what you're thinking, you're thinking he's probably got you know, five or six of them torches with him. Well, I can promise you, I don't. Um, I'm trying to do a hyperlapse the whole way, just so you can sort of uh, see that it's the same light source all the way through. But uh, I don't even know if I'm doing that right, to be fair, as I say, I haven't, I haven't played with hyperlapse yet. And uh, for all I know, is the bits that are meant to be fast, I'm walking slow, and the bits where I'm stopping it to talk to you, is the fast bits. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it comes out, I guess. Let's uh, carry Suppose you know it's cold when uh, puddles crunch underfoot rather than splash. But, uh, yeah. All good fun. Yeah. That one was a wet one. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cold out. Pretty dark. I must admit that uh, that moon through the trees is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've switched over to just normal video at the minute because uh, what have I walked now? It's uh, about halfway, I think now. Just double check. Yeah, so mile and a half, 35 minutes, and you see where we are on the, the map. Um, I sort of got to this point where I thought, oh, what if it isn't recording hyperlapse properly? Time, and, uh, Distance, 1.57 miles. Thanks for that. Yeah, I thought, oh no, it'd be a wasted video. And uh, I was out today, up at Davidstow, recording uh, some shots with a DJI Mini 2, doing some drone stuff. And... Uh, yeah, I kept pressing the buttons wrong and I've turned off the bleeps on the, the GoPro. So uh, that video wasn't quite as uh, factual as I'd hoped because I missed a load of the footage off. So uh, yeah, you wouldn't think the Hero 9 would be much different to the Hero 8, would you? And it's not, in fairness, I'm just thick. I thought I'd say it before you lot did. So yeah, so far, so good. Still green. And uh, nice crunchy puddles. Uh, the GoPro's gonna die for the torch, I think. I've got 19% uh, battery left on the GoPro. I have got a spare battery in my pocket though, so we're good. So yeah, I'm uh, quite enjoying it. I know a lot of you are thinking, how do you enjoy walking in the dark? But I think when you're doing a lot of urbex stuff and paranormal stuff, you sort of get used to being out in the dark on your own. It's the, uh, the bit we're coming up to in a minute, just up here. That's where the deer you often get the deer jumping across the path. And now uh, when they come running out of nowhere, that's uh, 
that's enough to get the old uh, heart racing. But yeah, wildlife, got to love it. So uh, I'm going to swap this battery over, I think, before it gets too low. Um, so what, we've been going 40 minutes nearly. And it's an old battery that I was using this morning. So battery life on the Hero 9 is pretty good. But uh, we're not here to talk about the Hero 9. If uh, enough of you want to see it, I'll do a video on the Hero 9. But for now, let's get back to the torches. So then guys, we've been going for 40 minutes now. Tell you what, them clouds and that moon. They look awesome. Absolutely brilliant. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, no, um, while we're talking, I just thought, uh, I'd say we've been going 40 minutes and, you know, if any of you guys wanna drop a comment down below, let me know what your New Year's resolution is. Um, let me know what torches you guys are using. Um, if you think I should get any to do a review on. Um, let me know what you like, don't like about the channel. And uh, if you want to hook up when we're allowed to travel again and do a bit of a, a collab, a bit of urbex, um, or just hang out, uh, drop me a an email if you uh, wanted to do something and uh, we can make it happen for this year, hopefully. Um, massive shout out as well to Naomi from Naomi's Adventures. Um, oh, this looks a bit dodgy. Water level's right up. Um, yeah, i so say you always comment in and kind of giving, giving the uh, channel some comments, so thank you. I will. Uh, leave a link to Naomi's channel in my description actually uh, go and check her channel out show her some love it's uh I keep meaning I've got a couple of your videos in there in the queue to watch it's been a bit of a, a mad few months so I haven't really uh, been watching a great deal of YouTube I must admit and uh, every video I seem to go out and make something seems to go wrong so uh, I haven't really been uploading a great deal either which uh, will definitely change this year well in the next couple of months anyway rambling on uh, still green on the old torch as I say if you want to check these torches out there will be a link in the description well, this is a bit new I don't think that puddle will be uh, crunchy. Let's uh, check and see what the progress is. As I say, I've not really been going off off kilter. Otherwise, I don't want you guys to think that I'm uh, cheating. So I'm just under two miles, 43 minutes. And uh, there I am on the map, just at the top point. So a little way over halfway. So, uh, temperature's dropping quite a lot now. Puddles are getting very, very crunchy, as you can probably hear. <laughs> um, yeah, and as I say, these torches are absolutely brilliant. Super bright, you can zoom right in. And uh, scan around. A nice crunchy one, but uh, yeah, it's taken me a while to find a decent torch to be fair. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of the True Fire ones, uh, I've had a few of them, and they're the ones that kind of put me off buying rechargeable battery ones um, just because you know I had one that was absolutely fantastic, you know, and then the next one I bought. The, uh, the battery would dim to about 50% after, um, you know, 
10 or 20 minutes. It was, it was awful. But I mean, that's probably more the bad way, is more the battery than the actual torch. But uh, it kind of puts you off. So uh, that's when I found these and I thought, two torches, two batteries, plus two chargers for 12 99 Can't go wrong. So I got two and uh, yeah, they proved to be amazing. So uh, I bought another six, plus gave Nick two. So I've had, oh, I think I've got about 10 in total. But, uh, I've never actually really truly tested one out battery life wise. Still green after nearly an hour. So it's pretty good going. And uh, yeah, so we got, I don't know, about 20 minutes of walking left. And I don't think we're going to see the end of this one. And the great thing is, I thought I'd do it this way one walk in for my uh, keep fit bit of my new year's resolution and uh, two it's better than me just turning the torch on and sitting there in a room and watching it oh very crispy so yeah as i say guys let's do some uh, let's really grow this channel this year make sure you give it a thumbs up share the video let me know what you're thinking about the torches about the channel about the content anything you'd like to see me do this year and uh, we'll see if we can't make 2021 the best ever. Let's get back to walking, I guess. Mark, I am currently, if we, uh, Open the app. Nearly three miles, well, two and a half miles there. One hour, one minute. Yeah, and there's the map. You can see we're three quarters of the way. So, uh, yeah, not long to go now, which is good. Because I'm sure you are all bored of this uh, awful view. I'm pretty sure actually to start my channel, some of the first videos I ever done were up here. So if you were interested in seeing what this place looks like during the day, you might be able to find a video. On there, that's uh, sorry, I can hear noises. This is another good test, really, for um, how good the GoPro would be as a, uh, a camera for when me and Nick are out exploring. I have just ordered um, a brand new DSLR camera. Um, so that's going to be featuring in the channels very soon. And uh, I think me and Nick want to get out and do some more creative photography as well. So uh, I don't know if that would just be solely for pictures or whether I might try and use it as the main vlogging camera rather than GoPros. But uh, we will see, I guess. Um, I've just ordered some new props for uh, some very creative photography ideas. So uh, I might do a video on that at some point soon. But uh, we've just been moved to tier three down in Cornwall now. So uh, yeah, we'll see, I guess.
just had to stop here because uh, it's the best uh, best sight I've had on the moon in ages. To be fair, I wish I'd bought one of my cameras now because uh, I think that pier there with the reflection in the water there, I think it'd be a brilliant picture. But I didn't bring my camera, so uh, all I came out with was a GoPro on my phone and a torch or flashlight for my American friends. Um, brilliant night though. Must admit that although it's not coming out on camera, you are getting a bit more, a bit more light off the moon now. But it's about to disappear behind clouds again. Sorry for the interruption to our uh, hyperlapse there. I just thought uh, I would try and get a couple of pictures I have. So there we go, 50 minutes, 2.78 miles. So we got about 20 minutes of walking left to go. Still green on the flashlight. Loving that moon. Let's get back into it. All right, guys, so uh, pretty much back at where I began now. I mean, check out the uh, the view. Super, super spooky and cool. Um, yeah, so I'm back at the boat sort of launch, which is near the car park. Um, I'm just going to try to zoom out, and this probably won't get a real benefit on camera. Um, but it does zoom a fair old way. Now, I know it's lighting the boat shed up. I don't think you guys are going to get the benefit of that on camera. Little chunks of ice. I think I finished this just at the right time. Um, it's getting very slippery underfoot. Very slippery. Always reminds me of Jaws, that clanging of the, uh, the rigging. Yeah, super cool view. So I don't think you can get the real benefit of the view on the, uh, the camera by a torchlight. But uh, yeah, we're still good. It's only just gone to red now. Well, sort of red and green, it's flashing. And uh, let's check out how we're doing time-wise. And we are one hour, 13 minutes, just over three miles. As you can see, I'm just coming back to the green where we started. Um, so I reckon you've probably got, what, another maybe 20 minutes of battery life, if you're lucky. Wow, that's uh, a very slippery slope down to the uh, water there. If anyone's gonna slip on their ass, it's gonna be me because Nick's not here with me, so he's normally the one that slips up. So yeah, as you can see, I mean, even when it's running low on battery, it's still really bright. And uh, yeah, bloody brilliant cameras, uh, brilliant torches. Sorry, I was just admiring the, how well the GoPro is getting that moon. That's why I said camera there, not torch. Let's, uh, if I zoom it out again, I might be able to pick the car up. I'm not seeing it on camera, <coughs> but I am seeing it in uh, real life, so the zoom's still uh, good enough. Still sort of flickering between red and green. So I'm probably going to call that. I'm going to say you get about an hour and a half from one full charge. One hour, 15 minutes. Distance, 3.18 miles. Um, yeah, so with a twin pack, you're looking at about three hours of um, light from the torches between the two. 
which uh, I think is pretty good. I mean, it probably needs me to do that again just to make sure it's, you know, a uh, reliable hour and a half. But uh, yeah, back at the car. So uh, I think that's pretty good. Literally just going now. So it's still bright enough. You can still see. So, uh, about an hour and a half from each torch, you get a twin pack. If you've got two packs, it's less than £25. So, uh, I don't think you can go too wrong with that. I think it's the best value for money and the best torch you can get for that sort of money. Um, I will put it to the test against a <coughs> against a uh, better one, you know, sort of expensive torch if you like, higher end, and um, we've put it to the test, but uh, overall I'm quite happy with that. Let's get the older car opened up. Um, so yeah, as I say guys, new year, channel's going to be doing a lot of different things this year. If you guys want to be part of that, you've got a collab you want to do, make sure to drop me a message or comment, and uh, hope you guys have a better 2021. As I say, like, share, subscribe, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video.